Shishan should be doing our trailer reaction to some new trailer for Dr. Sleep, which apparently is going to be the sequel to The Shining, which I... Uh, this is interesting because The Shining is one of my favorite horror movies of all time, and the guy that they have for this, um... First off, I've... I haven't read, um... Well, actually, I should... Um... Before I start talking about Mike Finnegan, um, I didn't even know that C.V. King wrote a novel for this. Um, I remember it vaguely hearing something, but I thought it was like a short story for it. No, he actually wrote a novel for this, and that was really cool. And now it's being made, and it's being directed by the guy that um, that guy that did, um, did, did, I think, a few horror movies. I actually really like He's actually a pretty consistent horror director. I think he did Oculus a couple of years ago. He did Hush, and I believe he created the um, Haunt... Haunting of Hill House. I need to double check on that. But yeah, this this honestly sounds interesting. When you got someone like Hugh McGregor, I think Rebecca Ferguson's in it as well, and Jacob go Tremblay. And this honestly sounds really cool. I'm really curious to see how they're gonna do. Again, I have again with the exception of like the original 1980 Shining movie, I have and me just being a Stephen King person, so the point where I just call him Uncle Stevie. Um, I don't know much about this. I know from what I was able to gather from the quick summary is that it's going to follow an older, um, the child from the movie and how he's older and stuff. Now he's dealing with the same shit. So, yeah, I'm curious to see what this is, the all the hubbub's all about. And yeah, but before we do that, I just want to uh, take some time and let you guys know about my Patreon. Patreon on the on there, I post, um, I post, I post, um, early access video, early access to my videos, unedited, um, my unedited show reactions, and reactions to show what I can't do. I have made a final decision. I will start towards the end of the month, so not this week or next week, or actually, probably the week after next. The week after this next, I'm gonna start, I'm actually, I'm gonna start, and I'm gonna make this official. I'm gonna start getting back into Twin Peaks slowly but surely. Um, I'm gonna watch the remaining episodes. Probably, probably watch and we and watch the season two finale. Um, that will be posted directly to Patreon and and only towards Patreon. So if you want to watch that, you guys can do that. And then also along with that, I'm going to get into Star Trek, and this will most likely be the beginning of my. Of the shows I can't do on YouTube because of their damn crackling copyright system. Or rather, CBS being a fucking asshole. So, there's that. And, so there's that. And, yeah. And, yeah. So, if you guys want to look at that, um, link in the description down below. And I would really love support. So, yeah. Let's jump into this, shall we? Two, one. You McGregor. Red Ram, Red Ram, Red Ram, Red Ram. Just talk to the kid. You're magic, like me. I need you to listen to me. The world's a hungry place. A dark place. Mm. Hi there. I only met two or three people like us. Mm. They died. Mm. Ah. When I was a kid, I bumped mm. into these things. Mm. I don't know about magic. Mm. I I was called it the shining. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> Hmm. 
Oh, okay, that's, that's a creepy thing. Oh. 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 Oh, my Samuel Smith is gay. Dr. Sleepin', which, by the way, sounds like a supervillain theme. I, I'm i really excited for this. I'm very curious to see. So I have a feeling, so I think, so my, from what I'm going to get from the trailer, I think he's going to be a mentor of purse, a mentor to this young girl who does have, like, the same ability, abilities that he does in which he can speak to dead. And I think they're kind of also kind of go into like what happened between the events after the events of the original movie, and then, and then, um, and then to the present. And I'm very curious to see. Hold on a second. Let me double check what this premise is. So years after, years after the, the yeah, years following the events of The Shining, and now adult Dan Torres meets a young girl with similar powers as he, as his, and tries to protect her from a cult known as the True Knot, who preys on children. With powers to remain immortal. Okay, actually, that sounds like a really cool premise. So essentially, he's kind of you know becoming a hero and stuff. And I'm very curious. Yeah, and I'm yeah. This this actually looks really really cool. Also, I really love the cinematography. Who did the, who did the cinematography? Um, Michael Finley, Film Film Oh Nari. I I I apologize. I apologize for that. By the way. Um, who did, what did he do? I'm also just looking at oh, IMDb on my phone real quick. Um, he did the Haunting Hill House. Oh, he did the um to the boys who I love, to I love before on Netflix. That's that's actually a nice thing. Um, he did the Child's Game. He did Before I Fall. He did Oaksha Before I Wake. Seemed like he done a lot of Netflix originals. And he also did Oculus back in 20. So he has a he has experience with directors. Although I do kind of find it funny that he's done like a lot of um. Uh, Netflix stuff. Not that I'm bashing on them or anything. It's just, I, I just found it funny. But yeah, this looks, this again, looks very, very interesting. And again, it's been a very long time since I've read the novel. I think I am going to make an attempt to read the novel before, either read the novel before, before or after I see the thing, because this does, I do like the premise of this. I do like the premise. And I'm very curious to see how Mike Fangan, who I think is a very prominent horror director, is gonna is gonna make this film make so good and I like the cast I like the idea of Ewan McGregor although although I definitely he's a lot older than I expected uh he he's a lot older than I expected but yeah this this looks kind of cool and I'm very curious to see how this turns out so yeah if you're actually interested in coming down in the comment section also subscribe my name is Josh and I'll see you in the next peace.